word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. I'm sat here with my lovely friends from around the world. And we're here to discuss interesting articles, aren't we, Dev? Yes, And M. CJ. Yes. And Maxi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, the first article this week is about KFC <gasps> joining Burger King and Subway. <laughs> and what? And they are gonna be McDonald's? releasing. Yeah. I don't know about McDonald's actually. Stop that! I want to hear what they're releasing. <laughs> yeah. Vegan chicken. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was never so excited for an article until you said vegan chicken. <laughs> Next <laughs> article. What was in your head when you were like, Ooh. oh, some kind of crazy like beef patty with chick crispy chicken beef and like KFC some kind of beef. like hot and spicy sauce <laughs> and a bun beef and KFC <laughs> outrageous <laughs> right uh, and now vegan chicken mm-hmm. next article I don't even want to talk about this <laughs> no we have to stuff that I'm on strike <laughs> who who puts the vegan chicken yeah do you know what vegan chicken is what not chicken <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so why the hell are they calling it vegan chicken? Well, because... They just call it soy burger. I guess. <laughs> because it's KFC. It's, I'm assuming it's not going to be a burger. I don't know how but, they're going to do it. But I guess like... Because KFC... I always, I always thought KFC would never be able to do this vegan stuff because it was they literally have the word chicken yeah. in their name. <laughs> like, yeah. if they wanted to release beef, they'd have to say, this is beef chicken. <laughs> Well, <laughs> they're called. They just so sell beef in the shape of a chicken in the same chi- way they're going to sell chica f- whatever so this chica f- thing's made out so in the shape of chicken, I guess. <laughs> the Cobb Parkway KFC restaurant near SunTrust Park in Atlanta um, are going to be offering free samples of Beyond Fried Chicken Nuggets uh, and Boneless Wings. That company has turned oh, up again, hasn't again. it? Beyond Meat. Oh, yes. So they've partnered with Beyond Meat for this test. And they've been, you know, obviously Beyond Meat's blowing up, I guess. The whole plant-based diet's blowing up. And so KFC I just want a piece I, of I, action. I, I, I just, from CJ's reaction, <laughs> there are going to be a lot of people that are, are, are thinking that way. I uh, think it's just going to be nuggets and wings for I now. I was so excited until vegan came up. I reckon it would taste yum. Because I've tried the... What does yum taste like? Well, I've tried Burger King's version or Hungry Jack's in Australia. And I've tried, sorry, their version of the vegan burger. So it's not the chicken nuggets or whatever. And it's the same sauce and everything. So you've still got that like flavor and tight, like the texture is a bit different, but it's actually still yum. Mm. Yes. I think chicken is the easiest of the meats to get right when you do a vegan alternative from my experience. What have you had that's chickeny, not chicken? Uh, what do you mean? Have what you have had, had that's chickeny, not chicken? Like replacements for chicken. So like, uh, I'm not sure. Like corn, corn or something like that. That's one of the yeah, brands. Like corn, soy. Sometimes there's like it just says, I don't know what it is. I just eat it. Yeah. Trust that it's vegan or vegetarian. Are you vegan or vegetarian? Pescatarian. Pescatarian. I, I'm. Uh, I'm like, yeah. I'm like 90% pescatarian. No, is a pescatarian <laughs> when you can't eat fish? No, you, when you only, only eat, eat fish. fish. Oh, so I thought, no, I thought it was that not, way around. I eat other things as well, not just fish. What do you eat? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I don't eat meat apart from fish. Yeah. And then I'm slowing down on dairy a little bit. But that's harder. Okay. See, uh, okay. I, I, I'm basically all you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you eat all you can eat. Do you eat? Do you eat dogs? Would you eat a dog? Oh. Depends what kind of sauce I had. Oh, he's considering <laughs> CJ, CJ's similar to you. He's on a seafood diet. He sees yeah. food. And he'll and eat eats it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Max, oh did Max eat it? I don't know. You're not impressed with uh, his I, response to your you joke. Know, like, Sorry, yeah. Ha 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 I think it was the fact that it was the most obvious I joke. I, I just feel like, like that joke I learned when I was like 10 years old. I was so old, happy like, that I knew what was, what was happening and like, it wasn't above my head. Like, like to be honest with you, 
the guy down the road, like four streets away, he knew that joke was coming. <laughs> 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 oh my I was just trying to get some good information for the next part of the, the podcast. I was like, okay, let them do that. that I'm going to focus on that. Actual <laughs> silence was probably appropriate for that joke. I liked it. <laughs> I just like the fact that I, yeah. I just got on Twitter because Twitter often has really good places for responses to these things. But okay. I haven't found a good thread yet. No, so oh, well, that's why I was uh, mentioning Twitter. We're on Twitter now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. You said that before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, like we're, on yeah, we're on Twitter. In all honesty, right? When I go to KFC, mm -hmm. I'm not looking for the vegan option. I know you're not looking for it, but what ha would you try it? No. B because what? What? would you try it because you're being stubborn? Like I'm not trying it because they shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but then what happens? So you think you think KFC shouldn't be doing vegan chicken? No, I think they should make a make a vegan chicken shop. What? I think that's what they're. Well, uh, they should have a separate company yeah. called a KFC KF Vegan. Not quite chicken. <laughs> no, no, no. I think, I think KF, the, the, KF, the whole, not KF quite KF The whole purpose of trying to get into KFC <laughs> and um, Subway and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. The reason why yeah. is because it's known. It's a known brand. Why right? not? Why not create your own own known brand? Because call it vegan. Because mm -hmm. there's less likely people will actually try no. it if it is known as a yeah. vegan yes, restaurant. But like, let's say people like me. That's right. the whole. These they're aiming at people. No one like likes you, you CJ. <laughs> <laughs> like people. I'm like not me. gonna go to KFC and order the vegan option. No, but one time KFC. you might just go. All right, fine, I'll try it, and you might like it, and then you might go. Oh, it's better for my. It's better okay. for me. And all honestly, if I'm driving to KFC, I want yeah. this oily chicken. Okay, so maybe get okay, the oily so chicken. Caesar, you go to KFC and, and you're not gonna order the vegan chicken, but I'm gonna go to KFC and I am gonna order the I vegan chicken. I will too. I want to try it. So now what? And it says the KFC. Well, I'm judging you right now for ordering the vegan chicken. <laughs> it says the KFC in well, Atlanta sold out of their plant-based chicken within hours. Take that, CJ. <laughs> now what you got to say, huh? It was one person. What you say now? It was, it was <laughs> the one person. It, it was the uh, obese vegan guy who bought it all. <laughs> I've never seen an obese, no. never seen an obese vegan, vegan guy. Of course people. they're starving. Not a on society. <laughs> I actually quite like the sound the sound of the boneless wings as well. Imagine like getting it and it looks like a wing and you don't have to worry about the bones. You just, mm. And you don't have to worry about killing an animal before you eat it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Siege. Yeah, that too. I didn't kill the animal, I just ate it. <laughs> I think, I think, I think things have to be like, we have to, I don't know. We have it to evolve. It looks pretty nice. Here's a, here's a picture of it. We have to. But here's a, here's a, a vegan Someone who's obviously very vegan said, I just don't understand why anyone who never agreed with the ethics of these companies in the first place would start giving them money just because they released something vegan. And not just that. What happened? Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand that. So, so they're really vegan for the whole their whole lifestyle and the whole purpose of being vegan is because they're, they want to note like cruelty yeah. against yeah. animals and stuff like that. And you're going to now, yeah, so gonna you're now going to give money. money to the people that their job is to kill chickens. And not just that. To get oh. vegan. The vegan food. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, they fry the chicken in oil, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are they using a separate oil for the vegan chicken or just frying in the same stuff? Yes. Good question. Yes, they use separate oils for the... I've worked in KFC for over a year. They didn't have vegan chicken at the time, but you... you and in same with McDonald's, you have veggie stuff, you cook it in a separate uh, oh. Oh. oil. See, I, I was just thinking like, what's the point of being vegan and you're having it dipped in the same bloody oil? Mate, I don't even know why you continued with that sentence after Maxi just said that. <laughs> I know. Is that, it's good to know because I was yeah. thinking in my head. Oh, okay. That's why I continued. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> to be honest, that's a comment in front of me right now on Twitter. It's not vegan, just plant-based. They fry it in the same oil as a chicken. Just a big business money grabbing rather than actually caring about the people and what they want to buy. But I think that's someone jumping to conclusions. I don't yeah. think they know how the procedures are. Uh can I just You're ask not allowed. I don't think by law you can sell something vegan if you cook it in. Yeah. Are, are vegans oil? Um, angry people? Maybe not yes. all. Maybe some. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some, but not all. Some? Because I've, like, they, I don't know. Are they, do they get easily offended? I, I don't know if it's just okay. this 1%. One percent. That's percent a narrative. Of, 1 yeah, you're putting vegans, everyone right? in the same. Yeah, it's just this 1% of vegans okay. that's just blowing up. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pretty angry people. Do you know why? No, Siege. They're no. hungry. No. <laughs> Stop making that. <laughs> they need some iron in their life. <laughs> There's tablets for that. They need the but real the thing. thing. Is like, I see it as like if you if you are a full blown vegan, like if you really believe that killing animals is like a bad practice. Yeah. That's like something to get angry about when someone's next to you killing an animal. Like in the same way, if if someone was next to you just killing and eating humans. 
Oh. You'd be like, what the? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? Like, if it gets you that much, but at the end of the day, it's, it comes down to like, what are your principles? Either you see this as a bad thing or you don't. There's, it's hard to convince otherwise. Like, even if like you can scientifically say, Pigs are social animals. They have feelings like us. But you're like, yes, but it's still a pig. I don't. I really don't care. Yeah. You can't change someone's mind doing no, that. You can't. But the person that's on the other side of that is probably going to get angry if they care enough about it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But there's also lots of vegans in between, which you're not going to hear about because why would you? They just eat. You know. Just they just they're just more more so interested in their own body, their own principles. One they don't worry one. about everyone else as much. Yeah, like. But like. Get, what? So, but if, you know how that um that was it a tweet that said uh, why would you give money to the people that um, mm-hmm. but KFC are trying to do something to change, isn't it? No, they're not. They're, 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 they're trying not to do something to get more no. business. Yeah, I think it's is business. That all? They're, saying, <laughs> they're capitalizing on a market, yeah, yeah. Oh. which is just a, a road. But I I think it could be good. I think if like companies respond to demand, right? yes. So if this goes KFC well, suddenly start like... getting more demand for vegan than they do for the normal chicken. Of course, they're going to start selling and making more vegan and killing less chickens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but how uncomfortable like, I think would I, you feel? I'm always a fan of joining the conversation or joining, like, don't just try and push people to the side if they have a different opinion. I'm always a fan of trying to help change as yeah. opposed to yeah. saying, oh, I don't like that company, leave them alone, you know? Yeah. This week on Max Fax. Max Fax. Max Fax. Max Fax. Max Fax. Max Max Fax. Dev, do you like basketball? Yes. Do you watch it? Sometimes, sporadically. CJ loves basketball. You might know this. Oh, uh, CJ then. You you guys might know this fact already. But Mm. Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal... Mm-hmm. He has hit almost 12,000 baskets in his career. How many of them were three pointers? One. Five. Two. Ten. Wait, how many guesses? <laughs> I got two. Five. I'm thinking of one. The answer is exactly one. CJ. I think, I think he was playing for the Heat at the time. It was, uh, I can't, it didn't say when it, it just says where, where it was somewhere, but I've lost that article. But, uh, cause I was like, I didn't believe it at first. I was like, you can't hit 20,000 baskets and only have one of them outside the three point thing. He, but it's true. And he's tried it 22 times and he's hit one of them and he has, the, he's like, only the tried it 22 times. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> now, like, how many free falls have he hit? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, a, mm? that's insane. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did it for the heat. He's free for heat, yeah. Because he, uh, he, when he first started shooting, he used to, on the free throw, was it, he used to do his um, fingertips and try to throw yeah, it. He yeah, he does. Yeah. And, and he always said, like, one of the guys I um, wanted him to do underarm, like, um, throw it upwards. Yeah. He goes, I can't yeah. do that. It doesn't, doesn't look cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Shaquille O'Neal this. has a career 52.7% free throw percentage, which is crazy for a professional NBA, like, Mm-hmm. Like people like us could do that with a bit of practice, I think. Mm-hmm. And then uh, some say Shaq should have vastly, uh, could have vastly improved his percentage by shooting underhand or granny <laughs> star. <laughs> <laughs> but he refused. He, Rick, okay, it happened Rick at Barry Magic. Did it and he, what did he? And yeah. he said he was oh. a fourth best free throw shooter in NBA history by doing underarm. Did you know yes. that? Yes, Rick Barry. Oh, I didn't know his name, but I, I saw clips about the of uh, the under underarm underarm free throw. Yeah. That would be so weird to see. Yeah, he just refused to do it because he said it looked weird. Oh my gosh, CJ. Mm-hmm. This next one is your article. This is like um, historic. I've drank articles before. This is a this is a time. This is a moment. A moment. No, I, I've actually I've actually sent articles before, Maxi. But I've sent them to you, Maxi. And, and they've they never made, made it. it. <laughs> Maxi, put her on the um, Instagram um, stories. Historic moment. CJ, CJ has put an article in. Now, I've put articles before. Oh, all right. <laughs> You've just always never put them in. All right. All right. CJ's <laughs> article has made it to air. Finally, I figured out what I have to do to get an article on. Bypass Dev. <laughs> 
<laughs> send it straight to Emma. <laughs> Not to you. <laughs> All right. Come on then, CJ. This is your job. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is why I don't do articles. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about? I actually want to get one of these chairs. To be All right. right. <laughs> okay. What's good about the chair? You can drive the um, reclining chair mm-hmm. <laughs> around. <laughs> Read the headline. Two men caught driving lounge chairs around Newcastle. Which is in Australia. Because what's more newy than that? Newy as in Newcastle man. <laughs> <laughs> Nova Castrian. Uh, I think it says, I think it says they were caught. Yes. Were they being chased? No. Huh? Or I think they were caught on camera because yeah. oh, police are still camera. waiting for them to hand themselves in. It's hard to catch a lounge because <laughs> they haven't got a rego plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and there's also only like... <laughs> there's only two of them. <laughs> and like, wasn't this like a... This is a different lounge chair. <laughs> was this like a big chase? <laughs> like the police officers walking beside them going, hey guys, slow down. <laughs> They're like, we've got to call off the chase. These armchairs are going too fast. This is a very <laughs> Aussie thing to do. Because they've got a similar one on the Esky. Oh, what? yeah. What? No, but I was thinking of this. Like, you, you, you go to drive through, Yeah. You get, like, a burger. You get, like, a drink holder. And then you can just drive it while eating. And be all relaxed or comfortable. Well, I uh, think... I'm, I'm pretty sure you can be comfortable in your car. Yeah, but you have to get up out of your chair. I mean, this would be pretty nice. <laughs> right? This would be nice. They can just drive straight back into their living this, room. This? Like, yes. TV. Open your garage. <laughs> drive out your chair. Keep your feet up. Yeah. Go to your takeaway <laughs> shop. Get your food and go back home. And you haven't left. You haven't left yeah. your lounge. Pull up in front of the TV. Yeah. And if it's cold, just get your blanket. Yeah. <laughs> like this is awesome. <laughs> I want me one of them chairs. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like the lazy boy chair from from Friends that everyone wanted. What? This is just the new the lazy boy chair. Yeah. What's the lazy boy chair from Friends? Is there a recliner? Yeah. When you sit down and you sink into it. Oh, did that have a motor as well? No. no. Oh. I'm just saying how everyone wanted one. Yeah. This this could mm. be the next thing that everyone but, but wants. I, if, I, if I was to get one yeah. of these, I'm pimping it out. I'm getting one of the <laughs> massage ones where I can unplug it. It's battery operated. How far are you going? Are you putting a toilet in your one? I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> People might get confused as though this is something for sale. So basically these two men <laughs> just up, what do you call Upgraded? Upcycled a, re- a recliner. Yep. Put a motor on it. They reckon it was Is one it of a those, lawnmower? No, they reckon it was like an old person's um you know, like what are they called? Uh, they they drive around scooter mobility, mobility, mobility scooter. scooter. And then they put the recliner over it and put the um control through the armrest or something. They were off to the and they named it Lazy Boy MC. <laughs> and <laughs> they were off to the big boys toys expo or something like that. Oh, so they yeah. thought they thought that they'd drive their <laughs> motorized recliners there. They were following the rules. They were going on the path, like just a foot pass and stopping at traffic lights and stuff like that. Is there specs on how fast it was going? How oh. fast can a mobility scooter go? Not very. Are you sure? You, I think it's you, twenty you, kilometers per hour is what they're You limited. can't have like oh. a seventy year old. Like punching it down the road. <laughs> Mate, have you seen the, the old people on, on the, the mobility? motorway? <laughs> No, on the motorway? Accidentally. Yeah, you've seen those ones where they go on the motorway. What? <laughs> you haven't seen that? No. no. Have you, Maxie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. It says, it says <laughs> for mobility scooters, eight miles per hour. Oh, if they yeah. want to be a class three vehicle, <laughs> which is in the UK. So it's 12 kilometers per hour. Hmm. So twice walking speed. Hmm. That's all right. So you have to do a very fast walk or a slow jog to keep up with them. <laughs> Damn, look. Oh, they're not allowed on there, but they just go on there. Oh, she's actually Brilliant. she's actually um <laughs> cross into the lane, cross the lanes. Yeah, well, she doesn't want to exit there, does she? So she's going. <laughs> looking at the um the, the old lady on the motorway. Yeah. <laughs> on the motorway. Oh my Where goodness. is it? So uh, I just I just put in Google old people mobility scooter on motorway and went to images. There's quite a few. Are these guys getting <laughs> in trouble? Amazing, isn't it? I think so. It is amazing. They're having a good idea. <laughs> I don't it's look. It's it's not a good idea. On a serious note, if on a serious note, CJ, yeah. if you could get this for like let's say it costs twenty percent more than your normal chair. Oh yeah, would you so do it? It. yeah. I would too. I I I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> even upgrade to get the one that massages your body. You you're gonna upgrade this one? I like the chair? 
Yeah. Like to the massage one. Yeah. So I can go get a massage while I'm waiting in my line for like, you know, my food. Yeah. <laughs> do you, and, and how do you, how do you respond to the onlookers that are gawping? Man, they're, they're Especially just. the vegans. They're just <laughs> jealous because I look good. <laughs> and relaxed. I would really want one of these though. I'm not kidding you. Me too. That would be awesome. What are you talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? Why would you want one? I understand why <laughs> CJ, I've known CJ a long time, and I understand why he wants one. But why the hell would you want one? Because it's so comfy. Yeah. And so convenient. What are you talking about? How convenient do you think that is? Why don't Where you else? get a mobility scooter then? <laughs> like, on the way to school, I'd be like, come on, boys. And they just all hop on my recliner. No, no, no. We, you, know we just... you know when you go to the shops? You can just pick up what you want. Like, <laughs> and just put, pack it next pack, to pack you. How big are the you? aisles in your shops there? <laughs> Pretty I big. know. Pretty, Pretty big. Like, all right, and then Are you, you saying that you wouldn't, you want, we, if they sold this, you wouldn't buy one? No, the, I don't want one of these. And then if there's a long line <laughs> in the shops, right? You hit the massage option, you're like, oh. It would be really nice. Oh, what the oh, hell oh. are you guys imagine, talking about? Imagine going down an aisle in the shop and another one comes the other way. <laughs> you'd just be like, who, you'd give who high Who had to take the discomfort of Ooh, reversing? Because I'm assuming question. whoever buys this are the type of people that value comfort very highly. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea that now I have to go out of my way to get out of this other imbecile that wants to be comfortable just doesn't sit well, you know? I don't know. You stumped me with that question. CJ, what if you see another CJ coming the other way in one of these chairs? A high five. you're in a chair. How are you? You're not <laughs> going to get through. Here we are. <laughs> they try. You, just, you both they start. Try and you get put on stuck. the massage feature. <laughs> I said, mate, the massage feature. I said, mate, the massage feature's on, mate. You gotta, you gotta reverse. <laughs> 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 I am moving. Oh, they had. Do you remember the massage chairs in the um shopping centers. in the shopping centers? Yeah. Did you try it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no. I knew you would have. The funniest I thing I ever seen was I was actually walking around doing my walk for work. Yeah. So I'm trying to like lose some weight. Yeah. This old lady was in the massage chair out cold. Like and the lady's like looking at her and I'm just laughing like man that, she's not moving love. <laughs> Cause I've always I've always thought of an idea of having a men or husband zone. Because sometimes they the husbands do have those ish. Do they? They're not named that, but that's where they all go. That's quite sexist. Well, <gasps> yeah, because there's a lot of uh, because women love to shop. Her husbands are just taking. Some men love to shop too. Yeah, Dev. Dev. Yeah. That, that's quite. Yeah. You're one of them. <laughs> you love to shop more than me. Lies. No, no lies. <laughs> lies. He's like, he's like, he's like <laughs> off to the shops now. <laughs> I hate shopping. <laughs> Anyways, where yeah. I was going with I, this? I'm a manly man. I don't shop. What are you talking about, guys? I love. <laughs> I love the husband zone. He, he, you would spend all day at the shop if you could. No, I wouldn't. Yes, Dev. Emma. No lies. If you had to spend three hours in a, a shop, it has to be like a niche shop. What would it be? Um, <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> it'll be a camera video shop. Or oh, Ikea. a stationary shop. <laughs> or a stationary shop. Love stationary. Stationary shop. He loves stationary. stationary. <laughs> I can see a lot of stationary behind you, to be fair. To, to be yeah. perfect. That is I <laughs> love stationary. <laughs> I, I've known you for a long time. <laughs> stationary. And I think it's Office about, works. I think it's, some, I think it's some, uh, someone has to say this to you. That's kind of weird. <laughs> is, it, is it weird to like stationary? You used to spend nearly your, every night at Office What's your favourite kind of stationary, Dev? Pen. I love my my thing is I'd love to have a pen, a, One minute warning. like a pen that like write stuff, but smooth. So literally, you no also lie. If with I that need stationery, I come into this garage, Dev, Dev Studio Garage, and find his stationery. Because because when I write, I write a lot for a long time, and I like to have each pen has a different feel. Like even the felt tips to the ballpoint to the like. It, there's all different feels to it, and sometimes I've just realized something. Whenever I've needed to call, go to Office Max, I've always called you, and you're like, "I'll come yeah, with you." Because he knows. He oh, knows I know where everything is, and he likes post-it notes and love writing. A post just, note. Just I love a paper. post-it note. I love a post-it note. Oh mate, now I know why you're always going to come. Post-it notes. Because to put there's some in front of him there. They were all look, over my look at wall. All the co- um, at one the computer. Stage. Okay, I like electrical stores. Electrical stores, like TVs and stuff like that. Is that an electrical mm. store? Yeah. yeah. I, guess, I, got I, th- I got a th- I got a three word joke about stationary shops. Go. Stationary shop moves. Okay. No, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> it was just three words. <laughs> I okay. Okay. I don't get it. 
Okay, Ernest. <laughs> I uh, tried so hard. Stationary shop moves. It's stationary. Shop stationary. Oh. And it moves. Hey, uh, Ernie, can you do me a favor? What? C- can you, I get it. Can you find some crickets for that joke? <laughs> So, so when the punchline hits, you just wait, put the crickets wait, out. Like, you know what I was wait, about to say? I was about to say seafood. Did you get it? Yeah. So yeah. how come you didn't respond? I was still thinking. Because it wasn't funny. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Poor Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? you got to remember, it's, it's only three words. You can't be that funny with three words. Uh, I it was... <laughs> we know. Maxie, we what's noticed. your favourite shop to shop in? I like game um, shops and like electrical kind of stuff. Mine would be anything like uh, techie, like electric stuff. Yeah, I, I could look at TVs for ages. I hey. can look at about how to plan a smart home for a lot of hours. Oh, home security. Oh, that's nice. No, no, smart home. Like oh, the lo- okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also, Toy Story. I've got, a, I've got a two-word joke that you might like. <laughs> Go. I can't count. <laughs> I get that one. <laughs> All right, so I have um I have a a question. I thought you had. This is nothing. Max fact. No, this is nothing to do with um, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. CJ, do you know um the car brand or car name called Starion? It was in Japan. No. 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 Why? I think it's Ford. Ford Starion. Right. So Japan. Mm Hmm. Um, imported a car to Japan, right? So how did, did Japan import a car to Japan? From the US. Okay. I think it was from the US yeah. to Japan. And they wanted to call the car Stallion. <laughs> yeah. But they couldn't pronounce it. So it became Ford Starion. <laughs> Look it up. It's Look true. it up. I've just looked it up. What? Is it true? Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought that was like some kind of racist joke. It's right. <laughs> So my mate, my mate told me this oh, the first time, right? It's a I thought it was like a racist joke. They're like, yeah. damn. And I was like, oh yeah, good joke. And he goes, I'm serious. They were trying to call it like, oh, it's a Mitsub- Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi Starion. Yeah. And they wanted to call it a Stallion and they couldn't pronounce it. It became Starion. And that stuck. I thought, I thought, I actually thought you were doing a racist joke. <laughs> no. I was like, dude, <laughs> that's my thing. <laughs> Starion. <laughs> oh, how funny is that? Starion. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that I bet you doesn't handle well. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm so confused. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> he's really happy CJ's with that <laughs> joke. Look at him. He's, he's, he's like Oh <laughs> man, I missed it. <laughs> Okay, sloths. Does anyone know why they are slow? Because they're called sloths. No. Do sloths <laughs> mean slow? <laughs> That's a great so definition. Be- <laughs> Before they were called sloths, they were quick. And, someone and then called someone them sloth. named them sloths. And I was like, oh. They were called speedy. And then they're like, oh, three hours later, it was in the same spot. And he's like, damn, that's a sloth. <laughs> apparently, it is apparently you can't appreciate how slow they are until you actually see them in like real life. Like, if you're standing there and they see you, the this, this, this slowness that they move their head to like look and then blink their eyes, like everything is in slow motion, not yeah. just moving, but every single part of their body. That's yeah, intense. Yeah, Ern, Ern, if they see you tonight, right? When you go to bed. And you wake up in the morning, his head would have just turned to see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how slow they are. They are so slow. But apparently it's an, a peculiar evolutionary trick. Um, it's not a trick. They actually are slow. <laughs> well, obviously, number one, they live high up in the branches. They only come out of the branches to defecate. That's the only time. Oh. So they come out of the best deck of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Basically. Do they do that quickly? <laughs> don't know because they where they live there's jaguars right 
obviously in the high in the branches, there's basically no predators. Yeah. But they are on the floor just to, you know, poop. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's their quickest action, but I'm not sure how that's quick. See, if, if, I was on, if I was on a tree and I was a sloth, I would aim for the jaguar. I'd like, I shit on you. <laughs> Three days later, <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> and apparently, you know how I was saying about the uh, prehistoric animals being giants? These, like, sloths were apparently giant sloths that weighed up to several tons. What? Um, yes. And they walked on the ground in the prehistoric days. Wow. Um, up until about the last ice age. Or uh, up until, <laughs> or during the last age, ice age, up until around 11,000 oh. years ago. <laughs> And then they used to stand on their hind legs and forage for the like from the trees. Were they slow back then? <laughs> but now, part of it is like their leaf diet is poor in nutrients, and their cal- caloric intake is low. Um, they have a really slow metabolic rate to like compensate for that low caloric intake or whatever. And something to do with the fact that they live in a humid climate. So because they live in like basically their ideal humid climate, they are able to control their temperature or something like that. I don't know. All these weird prehistoric evolutionary things is what's made them slow. They just don't have to be fast. That's the reason. There's no need for them to be fast. I I was going to say. So they just preserve energy and be slow. I was going to say, what would you, what would you do if you saw the giant sloth? That's like two tons. Two. Oh God. What would you do? Um, but a sloth kind. Admire it. Yes, admire it. Do you know the top speed of a sloth? What? What? It's, it's in miles per hour. What do you think it is? Two. Oh. Let's do it. Two miles per hour. One. Zero point two. We zero walk point one. between two and four miles per hour. If we just a oh. human would walk. All right, zero point two. One. I reckon zero point zero one. 0.05. It's 0.15 miles per hour. Wow. Oh, it's so intriguing. Wow. Like it is bizarre. So if, if it is going for an hour, like an, if it was an hour <laughs> of going as fast as it possibly could, do you know the running track? Yeah. It would get just over halfway around after an <gasps> hour. Wow. I'm really intrigued. This this isn't been a mad podcast. So, but I'm at just breakfast, getting intrigued it's like, by a desert and a sloth. This no, is but at, at breakfast it's like, oh, a leaf, and by dinner it's actually eating it. <laughs> here's the a question: intermittent Ooh, fasting all the time. Here's a question: can't help not. <laughs> How about if they had a lolly? What? Like a sugar, high sugar. Ooh, speedy. Oh, he'll be zero point zero two. <laughs> Zero point two. <laughs> <laughs> he went slower with you. <laughs> the sugar will make him go faster. And Zero apparently, they have some weird symbiotic relationship with the plants and the trees and stuff because they're. If you look closely at them in the wild, their fur is green, mm-hmm. and they reckon that th- their f- their hair has like been modified to have like these openings where the algae and fungi can grow, mm-hmm. and. It's some weird relationship there. Like perhaps apparently they got. Can you put a picture of sloth? They've got the least parasites out of all the. um, I'm I'm just I'm just thinking like what happens like the sloth really needs to go to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. So take him ages to get there. Does, to go can, down can the bottom we, of the can tree. Can we see if they poo fast? Because I don't <laughs> like. My, my thinking is, if they're coming down and there's jaguars and stuff like that, you don't want to be Do, like. Is the jaguar waiting because he knows how slow they are? No, the jaguar doesn't have to wait. He doesn't. The jaguar can walk away, take a leak, have a nap, get back up, and the sloth will be just mouth mouth position. <laughs> look, the green fur. Look, how cute are these sloths? Are they so? Are they nice? Are sloths? They look so friendly. I'm guessing they're vegans, right? I, I they guess, just I, eat leaves. I, I, I guess they can't Maybe. attack you because by the time they try, look, they've got a permanent <laughs> smile on their face. That's because they've been trying to unsmile for the last three hours. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually just having a bad day. And he's like, I hate my life. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. CJ is doing the motion of how slow it would be. You're going too fast. <laughs> I would love it's to go to, to a sloth slowly. place. Like, this is, this so is really, really challenging. Try and move your eyes slowly in one direction. Like from one side to your 
Oh, look can't. left and slowly look right. With oh. <laughs> it, it it, you'd have to do it so slow that you barely even realize your eyes are moving. But even just take, say, try and do a, le- a look from full left to full right and try and make it take five seconds without hopping between points. <laughs> you, can't, you can't. You can't not pop. I keep, like, fixating popping. on things. No, it keeps, like, doing a weird... Ch- 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 yeah. That is hard. It's not a I, smooth I it, movement. But they're cute. I've done it before. They've done it when I don't know if you had it, but there's like an I've seen an eyelash and I thought it was like a piece of dust, and then because the eyelash was slightly to the right of my pupil, I guess I thought the dust was floating down until I realised it was like something on my eyelash. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I remember doing it and thinking, oh, that was a really weird feeling because my eyes are moving so smoothly for so long. But like if you do if you do the same thing but watch your finger, you can go slowly with your eyes all the way. But without a reference point, that's you can't bizarre. do it. That's bizarre. That, you know, so Jim. You know, quick, uh, Jim Quick. No, he's a guy that um uh is into speed reading, mm-hmm. and he says that um to Jim Quick speed reading. Yeah, to be a quick reader, he goes put your finger on the page oh. and follow like to follow it, and then yeah, go under each uh, word that you want to read. Okay, and that uh, makes it you go actually quicker because how did you get speed from this article? <laughs> Look at this green sloth. We're supposed to have a laugh of it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, because Maxi said, "Put your finger and as then a reference. as a reference," and I just yeah, it's finger. Yeah. H- okay, they swim as well, right? Sloths can actually swim. They yeah. don't like swimming oh. really far distances, but they can swim to cross from one side to another. Like I saw this. I thought it was probably David Attenborough again, but he heard the call of a, a female, and. It was like mating time, and so he was like, "Hmm, I've got to cross the river to get there." Mm-hmm. And he went over, but he couldn't. He was too late, or he couldn't find her, and he had to come oh, back. Oh dear! Or <laughs> of course, it took him a week no. to get across. <laughs> is there any video footage of them moving? Oh, <laughs> well, there is, but we just assume they're pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Max is redeeming himself. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, my friends. Good one. <laughs> That's funny. I want Apparently, one. Um, the <laughs> At least you won't get because away. They're, because they're so slow, they have to risk their lives when they go for a poo. Oh, so they do risk their lives. So how often do they go for poos? So that's a question. How often do they don't go to <coughs> poos every day? Because when they, they have so little power in their back legs, they get on the floor and when they poo, they drag themselves forward with their front arms only. And they're what? left in a very vulnerable position. Hmm. Huh. So they climb down poo. forward and then like go on the, and then go on the floor with their front arms. Yeah, so they lay face freak. down and they just sort of drag themselves with their front arms whilst pooing. Oh hmm. man, dude! So did we see how many times they poo in a week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've never oh. ever typed that in Google, but I'm gonna do it right now. How many times? Dude, they're so cute. They crawl really low to the floor, like with their face down. I think because they've got their no spine and stuff, like they, it's hard. Apparently, if you were to have an arm wrestle with a sloth, they would win every time. But their legs aren't very strong. I don't think they would. I don't think they'd be interested in arm wrestling me. Many of us. They're like, I think if you on. did it, they'll lose just out of. Because uh, <laughs> they're like. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if they get scared, like when David was sat stood next to him, if they're like really freaking out, but they're just so slow David. they can't do anything. <laughs> do, 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 you know these, do, do you know what these sloths need? First name basis. <laughs> you know what these sloths need? What? The, arm, the motorized armchair to get around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, U- Utopia is the best uh, to... I'm sorry, I was just still laughing at David. I'm sorry. You know, okay, it, when people have two <laughs> names and you know them by two names, it is... <laughs> what? It is <laughs> what do you mean, no one by two names? No, like... <laughs> Everyone's got two names. No, but Minimum. Like, if Minimum, you yeah. know Except somebody... If you know, no, like, got two names. If you know an actor or a celeb with two names and then you just call them by one, it does sound bizarre, I guess. What? I mean, just said, she said when David was standing next to the sloth, referring to David Attenborough. Oh. I mean, it sounded funny that she casually said when David, David. was next to him. Like, <laughs> Is that why I just knew him, you know, all day? Yeah, you probably uh, did. 
We've watched so many of his videos. I know. They're kind of cute, but... <laughs> oh, it says sloths only urinate slash defecate once a week. Oh, because they're... So it's literally a life or death thing. So that's just like as least as we possibly can. That is so cute. And contrary to their reputation, sloths only sleep about 10 hours a day. Yes, they do. That's right. Compared to monkeys that live in the same area that sleep 17 hours. So they're not lazy. They're just slow. Huh? No yeah. need to be fast. Look how cute they are. <laughs> that will kill you of cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. 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 Hit the bell.